Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Today I have a very interesting video for you. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my bag collection. And I'm going to start today with a very special brand that I love deeply, French brand that's called Chanel. Here with me I have only this uh, double flap model in pink color. This bag has a diamond kilting. It has a very beautiful golden finish. When you open, inside you can see a big uh, compartment with uh, several pockets. One of them is a zipper where I usually keep a um, passport card, so to speak, for the bags. And uh, here inside uh, there is another a uh, compartment where you can store some cards of yours and something else and uh, here we have another pocket zipper and uh, here I have guess what of course mask because nowadays you cannot exit home without mask and um, yeah very difficult times we are living through but let's talk about bag better here we have uh, another compartment behind that you can just tuck in something uh, useful for you and um, it's a very comfortable bag, I must tell you. So I would say that this is the most used and the most loved bag out of my collection. I adore um, grained calf skin because it's very resistant and I can take this bag to any trip with me and uh, I can use it the way I want, I can put it uh, on dark clothes, it doesn't change colors, which would not be the case with a bag uh, which is made just of the uh, gentle calf skin, so I decided to go for the grained one, a more resistant, and another bag that I have, uh, another Chanel bag, uh, would be this classic uh, black uh, double flap bag that I keep back there in Russia because Probably you already know, but if you don't know, I live in two countries, I live in Russia and in Brazil, so part of my bags uh, stay today back in Russia, so another Chanel I will show you on the screen. Of course, all of you know how it looks like, the classic one, so um, I decided to keep that. And uh, talking about Chanel, I just wanted to tell you, like, um, if you are looking for um, a trendy model of Chanel bag, please pay attention to Chanel 19. I personally planning to buy for myself a Chanel 19 in middle size uh, in a yellow tweet. It's so beautiful. I just like waiting for the right moment to do that. So uh, Chanel 19, it's uh, the last bag that was created by Karl Lagerfeld and it became classic at Chanel. So it's increasing price. It's not going to be outdated. Uh, so a very good investment. I don't think honestly that yellow tweet is the best choice. Um, but I love the color. I love the way it looks like. So for myself, I'm going to go for that model. But for you, I would recommend to go for something more resistant, uh, maybe dark blue. I'll show you on the screen how it looks like. Uh, very beautiful color, very resistant, easy to combine. So like uh, uh, since the video is called uh, Back Collection 2021, I decided to tell you what I'm going also to get for myself in the future. So that's it with the brand Chanel. Let's keep going. Okay, guys, so the next bag I'd like to show you is Bottega Veneta. <laughs> Who didn't hear about Bottega Veneta these years? I think nobody, because it's just such a brand that everyone buys, everyone loves, it's so trendy, so fashionable. So I bought for myself this tote bag in rust color. If you see, it has this interesting way uh, the weather is done in these kind of squares. I don't know how is it called, honestly. Entrechato, I think, in Italian. I'm not sure. Uh, so I love the color. I love the functionality. Uh, there is no zipper. It's closing with um, two, two stripes. Thin. So nothing else. Uh, there was some boxing, actually, I've made for you in, in a vlog from San Paolo. Let's open the... We have another bag, dust bag, like this. Oh my god, look at this beauty! 
such a beautiful Arca tote. I bought something else besides that bag from Bottega, so if you're interested, please check out that vlog. So here <laughs> is uh, inside so many things, the sunglasses, and this pocket here is so useful, it's very useful. I would say that this bag uh, traveled so much with me. You can see that lead already has stretched a little bit. And actually I would say that this is a very big disadvantage of this bag. It has a very sensitive calf skin and it's not really resistant. So it's easily getting stretched and damaged and scratched all of that. Anyway, I love the way it looks like. I like the design and style, so I keep using it. But like half a year, after I purchased this bag, I can tell you that it got so much deformated <laughs> and I'm really sad about that because buying the bag I want to have it for years with me, not to look like that in um, six months. But if you are thinking about getting this bag, you must be ready that after some time in a while it's going to be stretched and deformated and have wrinkles. I have here already some wrinkles here on the top. But for me it's okay because um, some bags like Chanel that I just shown to you with the, with the grained uh, calf skin, they stay resistant for a long time. And some bags like uh, Bottega, they are very sensitive and we either look at them or we use them and we have them deformated. Another bag I wanted to talk about uh, from Bottega, if you like the style, but you wanted new model, uh, I would recommend to you to look at this Arco Toad that uh, was launched uh, recently and I loved a lot, uh, particularly this color, this kind of lime color, very, very beautiful. I, when I saw, when they launched it, I thought like, oh gosh, I have to buy it for myself. But then I looked at my uh, tote bag and I saw like nah, this uh, way, the skin is getting really stretched and not really resistant. So I don't need like two tote bags that will be stretched and deformated. But if you were looking for a tote bag, uh, uh, check out this particular model because I think it's stunning. Guys, and so now let's talk about Gucci. I actually shot a very detailed video about these three Gucci bags, so that's why I have collected all of them together to show it to you. I think it will make no sense to talk right now in details about each of them because I shot a very long video showing inside, explaining and uh, talking a lot about them. I just um, want to give small remarks at the moment for you. Guys, I still use a lot and love a lot Boston bag. I um, recommend every one of you who travels a lot and wants a resistant bag, a very functional one that you can use in any ways because as you see there are handles and there's a long strap so you can imagine all the possible ways you might be able to use them. Uh, if Again, if you want to see it in more details, uh, check out my video. I can easily access inside and take whatever I want. Plus, it's super resistant, it never gets stained, it never gets dirty, incompatible. Watch that video. So, I am um, really in love with this piece of art. And talking about Gucci Marmont in uh, pastel pink color, I must tell you that I also still love it a lot and use it a lot. I recently was considering to sell it, but Let's say I think my collection wouldn't be full without this particular model because it's very functional and as you know this year pastel colors, especially pink one, are still on trend so I don't think it makes any kind of sense uh, to, to sell it. I love this kilted leather, stitching, all of it and uh, design itself. Uh, plus the price for this particular bag increases year by year. I recently was in the shopping mall checking this model. got pretty much more expensive. So I think uh, if you have this model, don't sell it, keep it if you still love it. So use it, enjoy it and have fun with that. Okay guys, and now let's talk just very brief about uh, this Gucci bag that uh, was limited edition. Unfortunately, you can't find it, you can't buy it anymore. So I kind of uh, grasped it very fast when it was just launched. 
when I was still living in Italy, so I could buy immediately what was launched, especially in Gucci. We had excellent relations with the shopping assistant there. So like, um, the only thing I wanted to mention to you about bags that have bamboo handles, because they still have different models with bamboo handles, that uh, it's a little bit annoying to put all the time protection. I spoke in the previous video about that special protection that you must put on the handle of bamboo plastic stripe that you connect and it kind of keeps the handle together and doesn't let it open so it's a little bit annoying to put that strap to protect the handle and then when you want to use it to remove it and the other thing it's a calf skin it's very sensitive skin so i have already a few scratches here and a little bit uh, it's a little bit upsetting and annoying me so like i always think should I pack this bag or not? Because um, Boston bag in canvas, I can pack at any moment. Uh, I'm never afraid. I'm using it in rain, in snow, in sun, like no problem. Um, Marmont is not that resistant, but still I'm not as worried because it's soft. This particular bag is kind of, uh, it has a special form, so uh, it's easy to deformate plus on this clean leather you can see any kind of imperfection so I know that not many of you are going to buy the same bag because it's kind of not possible anymore to buy I guess uh, but if you will see something similar in Gucci or other brands with bamboo handles and the calf skin gentle calf skin so think twice if you want such a sensitive piece in your collection so that's it about these uh, three Gucci models Let's move forward. Okay, guys, another model I want to talk to you about. Sorry, I must close it. Just used it yesterday. <laughs> so another model I'd like to talk to you about is uh, this beautiful Jackie model uh, that I also shot another video about. I spoke very precise about uh, the print itself, the history behind that, so that you can educate yourself about history of that bag. Also have some beautiful floral print on it. It's because uh, Frida Giannini in 2005, she has uh, launched another collection of bags very similar to this one here. She has launched a collection of bags where she has combined two iconic things, uh, which were the model itself, which is Jackie model, and the floral print that was designed uh, for the Princess of Monaco in 1966. So that you can educate yourself about history regarding this bag. And uh, also I wanted to mention that uh, recently Gucci relaunched the uh, Jackie model, but uh, not anymore in canvas and floral canvas like I have here. They are launched in pastel color, so I'll show you on the screen here or here, <laughs> I don't know. So Gucci has relaunched the Jackie model, but uh, in white, in pastel pink, in pastel green, in pastel blue, so in pastel colors and white and in black, but not anymore in this one. It's very sad because I find this bag very unique, very beautiful and uh, worthy to, to be relaunched and for people to buy it because every time I look at this bag I just smile. I feel very happy because, because of the colors and the design. So, love a lot. Uh, I'm very happy this piece is in my collection. And um, if you didn't get uh, the same bag as I have, please pay your attention to JK that was recently relaunched and uh, it's available in different sizes so they have a very small size very big small size so the same as i have the middle size so um, any option any size you might need any color they have in gucci so if you like this shape it's very very comfortable like when i put it on my shoulder it's very comfortable so love it a lot stunning bag lovely bag Big love. Okay, guys, uh, another bag I'd like to talk to you is uh, French brand Jacquemus, as you can see here. Uh, on the side, there are letters of Jacquemus. Uh, it's a very um, simple bag, uh, in, it's just white. Inside, it has uh, one small compartment, fabric uh, inside, and one small pocket. So it doesn't fit much inside, just uh, your iPhone, maybe lipstick and credit card 
but if you are looking for something not very trendy but kind of classic that could be a good option so I got it for myself something like a year and a half ago and still using it and not planning to sell it um, it suits to basically all the outfits besides black ones and um, yeah, but also depends what kind of black outfit I have, if it's uh, something silky with, uh, I don't know, light fabrics, it can also go. So guys, another bag uh, is Jimmy Choo. I love a lot shoes of Jimmy Choo. Who loves shoes of Jimmy Choo? Write me in the comments below because I love, love deeply this brand. This bag is very old, it stayed with me for years, I don't know exactly how many years. I used it a lot, love deeply admire but uh, currently my iPhone doesn't suit inside yeah such a sadness uh, look inside it's very beautiful it's a uh, sweat blue sweat inside it has a zipper so it has two compartments one with a zipper and another is just plain like that a uh, very cool bag I love it but uh, since I cannot fit my iPhone inside I thought about selling it so if you're interested to buy this bag by me and uh, especially if you live in Brazil or Russia please write me in the comments below or DM me on Instagram and I'm sure we are going to find a very good compromise regarding price because I just want to give this bag to somebody who is going to use it to love it and I don't want to just have something possess something what I'm not using so uh, if you like it let me know and uh, I'm sure I can ship it to you somehow. <laughs> That's it, guys. And um, the next brand is uh, Paco Rabanne. As you see, it's a very shiny bag. Uh, inside, I can't fit much, unfortunately, because it's just one compartment. Um, leather finishing. So basically inside you can put iPhone and uh, a credit card, that's it. So it's kind of person chain. I wouldn't call it a kind of bag because not many things fitting inside. And uh, you can even remove the strap here. So the strap is adjustable and removable. Um, not, I don't use this uh, bag so much. I don't know, maybe because of the quarantine and we are not traveling so much, but kind of maybe because of the capacity, uh, not sure yet. I'll try to use it more in 2021 and see how it's going. If not, I'm going to put it on sale as well. Um, but a very interesting piece in my collection. I never had anything uh, shiny as this one. I find it very beautiful. What do you think? Do you find it? interesting or do you find it kind of very silly choice let me know guys and uh, next brand i'd like to talk about is valentino i have this uh, mini bag by valentino with the spikes i used this bag so much i bought not only bag i bought also purse i only saw some picture or video of it and i bought also card holder with the same color and the same spike so like i was so much in love with that you cannot even imagine i still like this bag um, one disadvantage because i was holding here it got stretched the handle got stretched and wrinkled so it got deformated um, that's it, no more disadvantages, I love it. Uh, inside uh, there is compartment you can put, there is some small pocket to put your card, uh, you can put any kind of iPhone you have, which is good, right? You can put lipstick, maybe some makeup. Uh, you won't be able to put many, many, many items, but something you will be able to take. I also used this bag on Milano Fashion Week, actually I insert some photo or video from there so it was easy to combine with many outfits so I enjoyed a lot using it plus it's very small kind of compact guys and uh, I wanted also to mention that uh, the chain here is really cool uh, very resistant not getting stretched not getting deformated so all excellent and you cannot even remove it so it's adjustable um, if you use it just like on your shoulder or crossbody like not holding by the handle i'm sure you won't have any complaints about this bag because just brilliant unless you don't like spikes could be the case right so that's it 
lovely bag of Valentino. I also have here a small Rosantica bag that I also took with me to Milano Fashion Week, very functional. I use it a lot right now in Brazil when I travel. I like uh, such an easy choice. I never afraid to damage or deformate it and uh, excellent bag. I'll show you some models of Rosantica that I love so, so much. Maybe you can choose something for yourself. Guys, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you watched this entire video until the very end, please put a smile or a handbag in the comments below. And like that, I'll know how many of you watched the entire video. It's very important for me, <laughs> by the way. And if you like the video, please put me like, okay? And subscribe to my channel like that. We can become social media friends. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next vlog. Bye, guys.